Why do you think there is a lack of representation of BAMES in advertising? I think it's clear. I've been involved in advertising for a long time. We have to be quite clever in how we even say to the clients that we want to put black people or ethnic or any diversity in, in the, um, the casting because they have a fear that they will alienate this target audience out there that is, aren't used to seeing <laughs> people of ethnic backgrounds on the telly, which as we know is ridiculous. Do you think the lack of diversity within the industry itself is a problem? If there were more people of, of diverse background <coughs> in advertising, the advertising industry would be even more rich. There is so much intelligent, brighter people in the advertising industry already that it was quite daunting to me. But at the same time, I knew none of them could do what I could do. None of them had experienced what I could experience. The sort of sense of humour that I grew up with, the kind of the fashion, the music. I knew I could come to the table with these things that nobody else could. And I always used that for me. In my portfolio, some people looked at our work, me and Al, he's from Scotland, with a stammer. And people were just intimidated by us. We didn't even get placements. Um, but at the same time, you could see when they looked at our work, well, hang on, these guys have got something here. One of the big problems is when BAMES are used in a stereotypical or cliched way. How do agencies and advertisers prevent that happening? You just have to use your common sense about things. And sometimes I see these things on TV and I just kind of think, did somebody never just pull them aside and go, you know, what are you doing? Advertising is saturated with research and double research. Yet yeah, these ads still come out on the telly and I was thinking, who are they researching it with? But most of the ads are starting to get better now. So do you think there's a generational difference in, in what the audiences expect from advertising? I think the, the younger audience are more open to and want to see more because our culture is far more diverse anyway our influences from music right through the, the gamut of entertainment is very diverse and it is coming at us thick and fast and, and people on the TV are in people's front rooms and very much people feel they're having a relationship with them anyway. So things are changing now because of what people are consuming. How do you think the, the lack of representation of BAMES in advertising makes people from different ethnic groups feel towards advertising. When it's not aimed at you, when you don't relate to something, you ju it just passes you by. Well, I did this thing called Create Not Hate and I went back to my old school to try and do a project with some kids. I just wanted them to get a taste of what I have experienced and a lot of them hadn't even thought about advertising for a career and a lot of the Asian kids were saying like their, their parents <coughs> don't want them to go into the media and want them to go be doctors, want them to be lawyers, want them to be politicians, because they see that as a more profitable, more successful industry to be in. It's, it's a shame. So what is the key step change the industry has to, to take then to, to make change happen? I was chairman of a diversity committee. We used to meet up once a month, just talk nonsense, and nothing ever happened. And I realised you've got to do something engage with kids, show kids the edit suite, get them to get what I got, bitten by the bug of advertising where I couldn't get enough of it. We were working 24 hours on our book, trying to get in it because it's great fun. What you come up with here ends up on TV that millions of people see. It's just amazing. It's just a real egotistical high, you know. <laughs>